smoke. Ballin' so hard, yeah, they think I got the cheat code. Huh, I got the cheat code. Spent two bands on some motherfucking jeans, ho. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, S Boogie, and we're week three in NXT. Same objectives. Speak with them superstars that are nearby and try to get one of these little side quests. But yeah, um, I don't even see nobody, isn't it? What's going on? Nope. I knew I knew nobody was gonna be in there. Uh, if you knew, please go like and subscribe. Don't be afraid. Um, I don't know who that is, so I'm walking away. Ah, I can't leave. Ooh, Oscar, boy. Tell me, can you see ya? Tell me, can you see ya? But look, uh, yeah, like and subscribe. We trying to get the 100 subscribers. And what else? What else? What else? Uh, if you missed the last couple episodes, please don't be afraid to go watch them things. And watch the journey of the book, the saga. Let's talk to Oscar. Hey, baby, how you doing? My name is Boogie. Last name, hmm? I don't know. Yeah, isn't it nice to be the champ? Look, we're both champions here. What you say I accompany you in your match tonight? Ooh, sounds like a plan, baby. Two champions in one ring? I like the way you think, and then maybe you could accompany me, like, in a letter. But, I mean, it's cool, whatever. Whatever you want, whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? I'm fine. I like your hair, too. I like the little red and the, and the black on the side. Yeah, man. Baron Blade. Better but Oh, my God. He is aggravated. I hate when he... I hate him. I hate him. I swear to God, I hate him. He says the same thing. Oh my God, he is back. Bobby Roode, his theme song says it all. He will not give in until he is victorious. He has a bone to pick with S Boogie, the champion, and he wants his title back. NXT champion, S. Buggy, the golden black. Oh, he has someone with him. He's accompanied by NXT women's champion. He's accompanied by NXT women's champion, Asuka. The undefeated Empress. Rude Boogie 2. Let's get it popping. You know they already don't like each other. Oh, with the clothesline in the side. Oh, stomping him in the chest. Wait, what is he doing? Oh, no. What is Boogie thinking? The first move out the gate. Coast to coast. Wow. His head hurts from that one. Rude is out. Oh, what? A, oh, he tried to what? Rude no sells the move with a neck breaker. Oh my God, I can't believe it. He wants to fight back though. The high kicks to the abdomen. The high kicks. Now the kick to the side. He's going for it all. Boogie wants him up. He's going to dive on him, of course. We know what's going to... What? Rude just... Oh, gets up and he miscalculates the jump. The... Oh, the backspin. He catches him on the side of the... What was that? RKO? DDT! What is he setting him up for? He drags Rude by the arm. Moonsault. One, 
Oh, the ref with a slow type of count. Kicks him in the chest. Now he picks Root up. Root in the corner. Oh, fireman's carry. Good wrestling maneuver. Oh, the knee. That la dangerous knee. La dangerous knee. I like that name, Boogie giving it. Oh, elbow to the jaw. And Boogie, these certified hands. He isn't playing around. Spring. Crossbody. We know his moves already. Wait, what is Rude? Is Rude hurting? He just swings it around. Off the to what? What type of move Rude's out of there? Wait, he's getting up. The strike to the forearm. Twist of stunner. What? A twisted stunner. In like an inverted type stunner. And he's going up outside the ring. Shooting star! Shooting star! Put him back in the ring, Boog. Head on the on the pole. Rude is in trouble. I think Boogie just has his number for life. He's not getting up. You can't like his chances right now. Is he gonna? No, he's not gonna jump on him. He's looking at it. The power bomb coming to you. To the corner. He may have to worry about internal injuries. And that one grounds him. I didn't realize he had such a glass jaw. What is he doing? He's setting him up. Here he goes. Belly to boogie. It's over. And this has gotta be it. That was easy. And this one's he shows out in front of Oscar. Oh my gosh, Baron Blade, what are you going to tell me? The same thing as always. Uh, like, oh, I like what you did there tonight. Let's see more of that next week. All right, I do, I do what I do, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, last episode I forgot to see what I got for Comfy Man and, and Fan Favorite 1 and 2. Well, I mean one level 1, so I'm about to see right now. Oh, almost a fan favorite, too. Interview with Renee when not engaged in the storyline. And run-ins on demand. I can run in. Okay, I can run in on anybody I want. Well, I'll leave. I'll do what you want me to. Oh, no. Oh, no. Nah, let me stop. Uh, Cash is, oh, no. What do you need? There's a pay-per-view coming, and with moves like yours, it'll be, I know it will be impressive in the WWE Universe with their support and everything, when the company, you always remember why we're here for them. Okay, you're just stroking my, yeah, all right, so get out of my face. Sorry, that was me. Bow down to the, bow down to the king, Triple H, what do you want? You gonna say the same thing every time? Huh? Okay, fine. I'll do it just one time. But don't tell anyone. I got two words for you. Suck it. Nah, but that was cool. That's it? Alright, thank you. Okay. I, thank you for telling me to suck it, I guess. Pause, no homo. Alright, let's get out of here. I'm going to see y'all next week on week four. Week four. Let's go. Huh? So I already started off talking to Tri Triple H. Good news, champ. Your hard work has been noticed by the important people, mainly me. Okay. I'm honored, Hunter Hurst Helmsley. 
if I can call you that, sir. <laughs> no, you should be. We've made the decision to bring you up to the main roster. Main roster, what? Let's go, man. There's a shortage of guys up here due to injuries. Okay, what can I do to help? We need you to step up into a bigger role either on Raw or SmackDown. We don't know which show you're going to be on yet. Is that a problem? No, it's logistics matter. I'm getting everything in set, in motion, in order. Bring you in. All right. So that means next week will be your <gasps> last match in NXT. Afterwards, I'll let you do a promo to say goodbye. This is really the end of my time here. Yeah. Do what you need so you can prepare for all of that. From there, well, let's work on that when we're ready. Seeing you soon. Yes, sir. Let's see who's in here. It's such a sad aura now because, like, I'm leaving NXT. Hey, man, Eric Young. I had a nice battle with you, dog. We had a good match. Wow, you're on the fast track to superstardom. No one can deny you of that talent. Thank you. I mean, I appreciate it. Like most guys would be salty after an L. But I mean, whatever. Baron Blade! Okay, Triple H wanted me to uh, let you cut a promo tonight. Did he tell you? I'm telling you, promo time. All right, no fight? Nope. Say something about wanting you healthy for the big match next week. Hmm, understandable, but weird phrasing. Everything y'all say is weird phrasing. Does that mean anything to you? Uh, main roster has a lot of injuries, he said. Okay, still weird phrasing. Go promo it up. As Boogie is coming out here to address the fans. What does he have to say now? We know it's going to be important, and we know it's going to be nice. Boogie. Lay it on us. I've been here in the WWE for a very long time, and I've worked my way up through the ranks, defeating everyone that has been put in front of me. Rather than coming out here and talk about how good I am, I am coming out here to talk about you guys tonight and exactly what I have planned on accomplishing in the WWE. This nigga. Has this man lost his mind? You know what's up? This has been going on long enough. I'm a patient man. And I don't... Huh? And you don't know where I've been... I don't care. Uh, I messed up. Man, look. Take a seat, kid. I don't really know why you're out here. But since you're out here, you might as well take note and I'll show you and everyone out here why I'm the greatest superstar in the world feel free to take notes the city is alive tonight and I wish I can give each and every one of you a high five but there's not enough time how about this instead I give this guy a face a bunch of high fives who wants to see me slap this guy Nigga. You slap me and I'll slap your ass right back. That's all I got to say. I'll slap you right back. How did you ever make it to the big time? This is WWE where you can't say anything exciting. Your moves are boring. The limited few use. You're a lame superstar. And I can't think of a single match of yours really worth watching. But last week, didn't this nigga just say that, that he wants? Okay. Fine, then let's have a match, but not tonight. I want this match to be big. I want this match to be memorable. I want this match to be the match to end all matches. At the next pay-per-view, I want us to put on a five-star class match, and that will have everyone talking. Oh, no. Big surprise. You want to do things your way. 
I hate to break it to you, but there's three people involved in this decision. You, me, and the WWE Universe. So let's take a vote. Do you want to see me kick some ass? Sound like they voted yes. I vote yes, so it's settled. Let's do this. Exactly. Back off. Back off like a little chump that you are. I'm in this ring right now. So if you want to settle this, come get some. Otherwise, you're not worth my time. I'm done talking. I don't care what I have to do, who I have to go through. I'm getting you in this ring, and I'm going to shut you up permanently. Yeah, man, he tripping, man. I thought, you hear me? He got, he got me bent, you hear me? Coming out there trying to interrupt me. He's, hound, he's hounding you at every corner. Yeah, I might have set him off with that last promo. Yeah, no, it wasn't your promo that set him off, but sure. But that sure wasn't pretty. I don't know. I'll dig into this, but hmm. We'll talk tomorrow. Thanks for watching, y'all. Stay tuned for episode six and the last NXT match. Oh, no. Boogie. Next week. Takeover.